and they let out a oh, like their last breath. It was a. Uh, it hit home. It was it was pretty harsh. Josh Ochner telling KCRA 3 what he heard and saw Thursday night just outside his Freeport area home. I looked at the bodies to see if anybody was alive. He and others from the community going from crash victim to crash victim on Highway 160, trying to assist until emergency responders arrived. Checking to see if there was a pulse, seeing if anything we could do to help out. It was pretty horrific. This traumatic loss of life, the severity of the crash scene right outside the doors of the people living on that stretch, not something anyone is prepared to see. All of our senses are, are initiated in these type of critical incidents. That's why along with emergency personnel and crash scene investigators, chaplains responded too with vital help to offer. Safety and compassion and justice for our for our community members that are impacted, especially an event that was so unexpected. Deborah Fontes is the senior chaplain with the law enforcement chaplaincy of Sacramento. We are trained to help people that have been impacted by a critical incident. She says CHP called out chaplains knowing they'd be needed to walk alongside those like Josh, who'd seen and experienced so much. We want to bring that calm and that peace that they are going to be taken care of in spite of what they're seeing, in spite of what they're taking in with their eyes or or, or the smells that come along with sometimes. And that service extends to first responders. They are in go mode of providing aid and helping who they can help and, and taking care of what needs to be taken care of. Chaplains trained to help emergency crews too, so they're able to continue their work serving the community in times of crisis. We live and breathe um, being a help and a resource to our community. Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. And that chaplaincy program for Sacramento County is made up of 42 chaplains. It's an all-volunteer force working 24 hours a day, seven days a week.